Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome on back to another reaction video. If you have no idea who I am, my name is Sam, aka OGB Reacts. I'm a first time movie reactor here on YouTube, posting every Tuesday and Friday, and I also stream over here occasionally as well. Today's video is a level 5 Patreon tier movie request from Kathy Ice, and Kathy wants me to watch Victor Victoria from 1982. Now, I don't really know anything about this film besides that Julie Andrews is in it. I know that she's the main character, but I have no idea what the plot is. But either way, I'm excited to get on into this and curious to know what's going to happen. So with that, thank you so much to Kathy for subscribing at that tier over on Patreon and requesting for me to watch this film. I hope you specifically enjoy this reaction. And to everybody else over on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. I also have a tier over there that is solely for the polls, which are ran every single Friday, and that is $2 a month for that. So yeah, I don't know what I'm getting into. Very curious about it, so let's get on into it. Really do hope that you all like this reaction, and I shall see you on the other side. Enjoy. If you're not happy with the arrangement... As a matter of record, I'm not. Have a nice day, Tori. Uh. I'll do my damnedest. Hmm. <laughs> Cherry ripe! As you can tell, Monsieur Lebis, I have a legitimate voice. Yes. Well, you see, I'm looking for something a little more illegitimate. Oh, I'm sure oh, that with what? a little practice... <laughs> Lady. Illegitimate? Andre Cassel should never have sent you over here. He didn't. Wow. You told me he was your agent. I lied. Oh! Thank you. <laughs> Good for you. You know what? Wow. It showed up. What the hell was that? <laughs> B flat. <laughs> Ugh. Ah, the mouth noises. Ah. What are you? Are you good? She. She faint. What? I hate like mouth noises like that. It's nasty. Man was chowing down. Oh my god! <laughs> it's spaghetti Hi. flying his, out of his mouth. You, uh, you owe me two weeks. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> with meatball. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm sure we can do something about oh. the rent. Okay, get your blood sugar up. Oh, my God. It means today that gay Pally is gay. <laughs> <laughs> Not that gay. Oh, my God. You're not really funny, you know. Damn. So why didn't you just piss off? You? You ought to be ashamed of yourself, bringing your sweet old mother into a place like this. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Damn. Ah. Oh, wow. Damn. Can't joke with uh, some people, I guess. Went too far. But nobody oh was God. seriously hurt. That's why I'm only closing you for a week. You know how much I'll lose in one week. Look what you did. Wow. You're fired. Oh. If you ever set foot in this place again, I will have you thrown out. Having to make business with each other. <laughs> She needs money and a job, and he just got fired, so... You realize, of course, you're entitled to two salads. Could you put them both on one plate? That's possible. Uh, <laughs> Terrific. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. She's gonna dine and dash. <laughs> I had the pleasure of hearing you sing this afternoon. I just wanted to tell you that I think you have a lovely voice and to say how sorry I am that I can't buy you dinner. 
Have dinner with me. I expect to leave here poor, but sated. I have a bug in my purse. At the appropriate moment, it goes in my salad. Cockroach. A cockroach? Oh, my God. Bigger than your thumb. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh. I don't see it. How's the salad? Ah! Uh, Have you tried it yet? No. Would like to try the red. Oh! <laughs> There is still the matter of your check. My check. Uh, there was no cockroach in your salad. No, no, I invited uh, this man to have dinner with me. Am I to gather, madame, that since his gentleman is your guest, you don't feel that you should pay for his dinner either? Well, uh oh. Either you or madame will pay the. Ah! Oh my god. Wow! Can I ask you a question? You want to know if I'm a homosexual? Uh, no. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> How long have you been a homosexual? How long have you been a soprano? <laughs> it was guaranteed not to shrink. Oh my no! My best dress. Tomorrow, I'll go over and pick up your clothes. Oh, they won't let you. They will if I pay your bill. You can't do that. Why wow. Not? You were willing to compromise your virtue for a meatball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll charge you a weekly interest equivalent to the going rate of one meatball. <laughs> You're going to get into those pajamas and come to bed. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, I'm glad he's nice to her. <laughs> wow, what a transition. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, you got your lights decked out. Good Lord better in Richard's clothes than he does. Oh my goodness. Of course, he looks better out of them. Ha! Well. I love how she has the tie and such on. That's too Tony. funny. Uh-oh. Richard. Oh! oh That's that pick on someone oh. your own size. Damn! Oh! And don't come back. Got your ass beat, bud. What happened? There was a man wearing my clothes. Huh. I think he broke my door. Toddy. And do exactly as I say. In six weeks, you'll be the toast of Paris, and we will both be very rich. Oh, caviar instead of meatballs. Where are you going? To get some scissors. People believe oh. what they see. This afternoon, huh. you sell. a woman pretending to be a man pretending to be a woman? Ridiculous. It's Wait, it's preposterous. In fact, it's so preposterous, no one would ever believe it. Okay. As an act? Like for money? Hmm, I wonder. Okay. Na 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 nu who's she? The last woman I slept with. When was that? The night before the morning I decided to become a homosexual. Oh my god. What in the world? This is... Alright. Did not expect this to go this way. Every Wednesday at this time, Mr. Cassell has his hair cut. And he never sees anyone. We'll wait. I'm Le Clou, the world's greatest equilibrist. On Wednesdays, Mr. Cassell only sees Giannini, the world's greatest barber. <laughs> Very well done. Do me. Oh my. Hello, Andre. Toddy. What the uh, wow. Andre? I think it's very important. Oh my god! What? <laughs> if I haven't heard of him, he can hardly be Europe's greatest anything. Count, would you demonstrate? Certainly. Your voice on my connections, you're going to get rich, and I am going to get richer. Well, there we go. That was very easy. <laughs> so she's a woman pretending to be a man, pretending to be a woman. Hmm. Make it broader, with tons of shoulder. Remember, you're a drag queen. <laughs> well, yeah, technically, yes, she is a drag queen. Oh, Toddy, if I have to strap down my bosom for the next 20 years, they're going to end up looking like two empty wallets. Oh, my God. I love it when older movies touch on sexuality and gender stuff. That just goes to show, hey, it's been around for quite some time. 
This is not a new thing, people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the nightclub is proud to present the one and only Victoria. Ah, well, that's, um, I guess where the title of the movie comes from then. Got it. <laughs> this is very interesting, though. Impersonating a man just to be a drag queen. Very interesting concept. I like it. <laughs> Almost being a drag king who is impersonating and being a drag queen. <laughs> Yep. Oh! It's a guy. Yay! <laughs> I love how it's just short hair, man! Man! <laughs> uh oh. A lot of conflicting feelings now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. What do you think of our new star? He thinks he's a phony. Oh, I think she's very what? talented. Uh, but he doesn't think you're a man. I'll tell her what I think. Her, you see? Norma, <laughs> mingle. Oh, my goodness. Sure. Care to mingle with me, Mr. Ty? Oh, Miss Cassidy, goodness. excluding Victor's performance, mingling with you may well turn out to be the highlight of the evening. <laughs> I just love Frenchmen. Oh, uh, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I just find it hard to believe that you're a man. Because you found me attractive as a woman. Yes, as a matter of fact. Uh-huh. It happens frequently. Not to me. If you were a man, I'd knock your block off. And prove that you're a man. That's a woman's argument. Your problem, Mr. Marchand, is that you're preoccupied with stereotypes. Uh-huh, yes. See, yes, she is a cis woman, of course, yes. But he's still being a dick about it, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yes, he's correct, but, like, he's being a little, little, little weird. <laughs> Queer? Oh, we prefer gay. But you're so attractive. <laughs> well, I just think it's a terrible waste. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what I think? What? I think that the right woman could reform you. You know, I think the right woman could reform you, too. Oh! Men? King Marshall is an arrogant, opinionated, chauvinistic pain in the ass. I yeah. think I could fall in love with him. I think I could too. Wow. <laughs> you haven't found the right woman. Ugh. Yeah, when it's something like that, you just gonna have to laugh about it. I know he's supposed to protect you, but does he have to stay in the same suite with us? As a bodyguard? I just keep Damn. Expecting him to break in while we're uh, while we're making love. He'd only do that if he heard something unusual, like if I got excited. Oh, damn! You, you take a jerk! Uh, <laughs> Listen to me, you creep! Oh my god! <laughs> She's crazy! Damn! <laughs> Ta da! Wow. But what if I flopped? Oh, then we would have ordered a sumptuous meal, charged it to room service. Drunk the champagne, compliments of the management, uh -huh. and jumped out the window. <laughs> Which is why I chose a three-star hotel and specifically requested accommodations above the third floor. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, sir. <laughs> They're fun together. Yeah, this brings this this movie brings up a lot, actually. It's nice to watch, honestly. Oh no. Yep. I'm horny. <laughs> oh my oh, oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Oh, give me a Jesus. Home. Yeah, he's probably gonna get so bored that he's gonna try to ruin uh Victor Victoria, so No big deal. Uh oh, what happened, buddy? <laughs> happens to everyone you can't let it get you you should excuse the expression down oh god she is something else what's with the soap <laughs> 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 
Look out! What? Oh, wow. with her or anyone. She's nuts though. You ain't seen a last of me yet! Oh, oh, oh good lord! Are you okay? <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Sucks that I'm not gonna be able to really show these parts much. That's the usual though. I'm about to say what glass is gonna break. <laughs> yep, there you go. Yep, 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 yep. Yes, uh, this is Mr. Uh... King Marshan. Mr. Todd and Suite 432, would you be kind enough to have a maid bring up some extra towels, please? We miss you. Thank you so much. Oh boy. What is your plan here, bud? Oh boy. You're being a big creep right now, bud. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, he's being weird. I, at this moment, I do not really like him. Oh no. Oh no. What is this guy doing? Oh, good lord. So now he has. They have two. Strange men, well, not really strange, I guess, in some ways, in their room. Wow. Oh my god. He's gonna freeze to death. Oh, Jesus, here we go. Uh oh. Here. Guaranteed to lift your spirits and warm your cockles. That's my trouble. I don't have any cockles. <laughs> uh, you hungry? This is so risky. No way. No way. I can't believe it. Oh, God, he's going to get in trouble. What a dick. Uh, <laughs> yep. Because that's just an invasion of privacy on so many levels, you know? There's a lot of issues within that as well, you know? Oh my god. Yeah, what is your deal? You're t putting the shoes out, taking them back in. Oh, goodness, goodness. Norma, what's on your mind? King! Backing up with another dame. Uh, no, another guy. <laughs> Run that by me again. Uh -oh. Well, <clears throat> there's this Polish fairy, you see. Uh oh. King Marshan has just offered me a fortune for you to appear at his club. Would wow. you please be more specific with your nouns? Ten thousand dollars a week. That's not a noun. That's a fortune. Ten thousand a week? You Fuck! How long have you known Mr. Todd? What's the attraction? Would you believe me if I told you we were in love? No. Because uh, homosexuality uh, is unnatural and a sin. According to whom? Oh, pious clergymen and terrified heterosexuals. Oh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Seems Toddy and Mr. Bernstein have found something in common. Don't do it. No. All right, good luck. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, good try. I was about to say, yeah, that's definitely the back of their heads. Well, the two on the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh what my goodness. To come this way, Didn't you say you were gonna chuck him out the next time he came in here? Oh no. It had to be him, huh? Victor! Oh! Perhaps Victor will honor us with a song. You and me will stay together, me harmony. Yeah. <laughs> Taught him everything he knows. That's why he has so little left. Oh, I'll get you <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, not again. Oh, you literally snatched her wig. Ah! <laughs> Mechanism. <laughs> wow. No, he got left behind. That poor guy. He's getting the shit end of the stick. I don't care if you are a man. Oh. We love to see it. Good. There you go. I still don't care. <laughs> well, there you go, people. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I th I'm so I thought I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, he did say he'd barge in if he heard any, um, noises <laughs> that were odd if a guy like you's got the guts to admit he's gay so can i oh my god you've made me so happy that's actually so nice no oh woman pretending to be a man uh, you can stop pretending and do what be yourself but you see, I don't think I want to. I'm a big star now. I'm a success. Oh, that. Yeah. I mean, there are things available to me as a man that I could never have as a woman. Mm-hmm. Well, you think it would be fair for me to ask you to give up your job? It would be ridiculous. Uh -huh. But you expect me to give up mine. But there's a difference, for Christ's sake. Right. What's everybody going to think? I guess they're going to think that you're living and sleeping with a man. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Well, they're going to think the same thing about me. But you're a woman. Yeah, but they don't know that. You do. And you know you're a man. I don't see the difference. We'll be living a damn lie. And so I what? I don't <laughs> think that's what's really bothering you. If you he doesn't want to be perceived as gay. You're right. Well, okay. Yeah, then there you go. <sighs> well, that's a societal issue then. Well, I don't want to be perceived as gay. Well... People are assholes. That's why you don't. Uh, uh. Remember Mr. Bernstein? <laughs> Count Krasinski? Exactly. When did you know about... Uh, uh, when did I know I was gay? Yeah. God, I can't remember when I wasn't. And there you go. They keep asking that, and it's just like, it's always been, you know? But you watch where you're going, huh? He says it was your fault and uh, suggests that you apologize. Damn. Oh, Come on. No, 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 no. Well, you tell him if you'd like an apology. Yeah. He can just get him some gloves and I'll see him in a ring. Oh, he's probably Except some professional boxer. Uh, just give him ten minutes. He would be delighted to oblige. Who the hell does he think he is? Guy Langlois, the French middleweight boxing champion. Yep, yep. But don't Run. worry. Run. He's gay. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's gay. The gays keep winning. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Does that remind you of someone, sir? The person you declined in the beginning of the movie? Hmm. Oh. 
I think we should try living together. Oh! <laughs> I'm Charles Bovin, private investigator. Oh. Good. There is something I want you to find out for me. Be careful, monsieur. I'm always careful. That stool is broken. It is? Well, you know, that's probably how this private investigator is going to go then, right? We don't plan past tomorrow. Just take it a day at a time. Fuck how society looks at you. If you love the person that you love, that's all that matters. Though that's a very privileged thing of me to say, because I don't live in a country where you can be put to death for loving who you love or being who you are. So love who you love, but be safe. <laughs> the shirt ended up being very appropriate to wear for this movie then. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! <laughs> the difference in interests and them tolerating them both, I guess. All right, now what damage are you gonna do? You know what I'd really love to do? Go dancing. Dancing? Oh, oh my God! All right, so yeah, this guy um, has no luck. Oh, wow. Okay, at least you're in a safe environment. <laughs> Yeah, he is very clearly uncomfortable with this, though. It is. It's a hard situation, particularly this situation. Yes, I understand. Take her back to the hotel. I'll see you later. I just wanted to go dancing. Now, what are you doing? Oh, boy. Do you need, like, a reassurance of masculinity or something? Milk. Cow's milk, monsieur, or mother's milk. How about your sisters? Oh! I guess so. I don't I don't know. I am very much in love and I don't know what to do. Yeah. I can't stand to see a grown man cry. <laughs> what in the world? glass in his cheek what is oh that's his glasses oh is that the, the is that the pi what is going on hello jesus oh i knew things were going too good to last do you think you could possibly manage to look a little less funereal uh uh renee darling yes why don't you go suck an egg Suck an egg, damn! Tonight will be Count Victor Grzynski's final performance. And tomorrow I shall announce to the world that I am really Victoria Grant, who may one day be lucky enough to celebrate her womanhood as Mrs. King Marshall. <gasps> well. Oh, my God! So I'll put up the money for the club, but uh, the mob doesn't consider homosexuality an acceptable lifestyle. Oh. Uh... Kill him, but mustn't kiss him. <laughs> yeah, really. Oh boy. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Mr. Bernstein. Let's go, Mr. Bernstein. <laughs> Just the crack noise. <laughs> Hello, darling. Uh oh. <laughs> Hi, Sal. Who the hell are you? Just remember your blood pressure, now, me. Oh my God. This is the count. Can I have a word with you, Norma? What is it you need? It's very get important. Your mitts it's off gonna me. change your whole Sal, life. Get this ball! Freeze. Oh shit. What? Uh, what's going? What are you doing? Uh oh. Uh oh. I have God. boobs. <laughs> Wait. What's going on in there? He's a woman! Yep. Because <laughs> with her, she wasn't going to believe it if she just said it. Got a show. 
Yes? Stand aside. I know all about your Count Grazinski. And when the inspector has exposed the imposter... Imposter? Yes, imposter, you will all be arrested for perpetrating a public fraud. Well, you... Idiot! What? That's a man. Oh, it can't be. No. Oh. Well, when I walked in, the person in that room was naked from the waist down. And if that was a woman, then she was wearing the greatest disguise that I have ever seen. Oh, Wait, there is something wrong. My. I had a prime thing. What'd you do? <laughs> huh. Oh, my goodness. He keeps getting new jobs. Once again, the nightclub is proud to present the one, the only, oh, who's it, Victoria! Who's it gonna be? <laughs> <gasps> of course! Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That's appropriate, honestly. <laughs> yes! Work it! Yes! <laughs> oh, my lord. My bill. I mean, he did his job. Oh. <gasps> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> you bitches <laughs> from Sam. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> And there we go. Wow. All right. <laughs> that was absolutely hilarious. I loved that. That was so much fun. I had no idea what to expect with this movie. I had no idea what the plot was at all. So everything that happened was just like uh, truly a complete surprise. I, I really did love it, though, a lot. It was fun. It was absolutely hilarious, and it really just discussed and talked about and showed a lot of LGBTQ plus related stuff, you know? It talked and showed and addressed a lot of things about gender, sexuality, you know, drag queens, like even, you know, transgender, like just topics as well. And this was taking place in the 1930s, which it just adds to that element of, hey, guess what? Queer people existed. Trans people existed, drag queens, this all, drag kings, all of this existed prior to, you know, the 90s or whatever. That's, some people genuinely think that, like, just like, all oh, this gay and queer and uh, trans things, all, all this new stuff, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 this is not new. Uh, this has been around for quite some time. It's just very recently, <laughs> you know, for a few decades now, hell, even less than that, you know, people, I would say, probably within the last even 10 years itself, people feel more comfortable just being who they are, you know, loving who they want to love and everything. And, you know, unfortunately there are so many places around the world that are still so not great for us uh, LGBTQ plus folks. So, uh, yeah. Hell, we even have places here in the United States, especially lately where, um, you know, states are really trying to get rid of disregard, take away the health benefits of particularly uh, trans people. So, um, yeah, that's... <sighs> it's really absolutely shitty and horrible, and I... It's the most backwards shit ever, but anyway. I just wanted to mention that, of course, because it is on topic for, you know, what this movie is talking about addressing and whatnot. Just saying that it has existed for quite some time. It's existed before the 1930s. Like, it's it's been, this has been a thing. Like, <laughs> this is not new. So it was just really nice to see, you know, topics like this be talked about and addressed and whatnot within this movie. Especially the part where Bernstein was just like, oh, I mean, if a guy like you can come out as gay, then I can too, you know? Like... That was like, that moment was just like, oh my god. <laughs>
And really, at first, because of how he was acting, I was like, mm, King, you're rubbing me the wrong way a little bit, you know? But very clearly, he does not have an issue with people being gay. And it definitely took, you know, clearly it took some time for him to be like, okay, you know what? Like, I, I am uncomfortable with being labeled as this because maybe I'm not. But at the same time, it's kind of like, oh, it's a little fluid there, you know? Hmm. Because there was a point sort of, I guess towards the end where he was just like, I don't even care if you're a man. So it's just like, okay, again, a little, little fluidity there. All right, I see you. The dude who did have an obvious problem with gay people and particularly King being gay is that, you know, gangster person that was basically trying to get rid of King, you know, with his freaking, you know, gangster bodyguards in the room or whatever that was. Clearly he has an issue. But not really anybody else in this movie did, which was, again, just nice to see. Besides Norma, but she was just a... she was crazy. <laughs> and she seemed aggressive about it at points, but it was more just like... she was just nuts, you know? So yeah, just overall, this movie addressed so many points within sexuality, gender, and whatnot. Like, it was just... it was really nice to watch in that way. And then story-wise, it was also just very interesting, very entertaining, very hilarious. And then, of course, as you went along in the movie, especially, you know, that last, like, what, 20, 30 minutes you have Victoria just be like uncomfortable with the idea of being someone who she's not. Uh, and yes, she was only doing it financially, but she just felt it was personally getting in the way. So it was good to see that she gave that up, you know, it, it that was a positive. And she personally just sort of, you know, gave that up because it was just interfering with her own personal life and her own personal feelings as well. Like she towards the end especially just kind of just like you know what no like this is this isn't me you know and then again you had king who was just also very clearly uncomfortable with being perceived as gay though it, it, that i feel like that can be argued either way though because he did say which is like i don't even care if you are a man which kind of implies like okay like he really maybe he just truly doesn't that like attraction is attraction and he will like who he likes. But on the other hand, he was also very clearly uncomfortable with being perceived as gay. But I feel like you can also kind of argue that that's like more of a societal thing of just having that pressure of like being seen as less than and it, that, that goes in like masculinity. Uh, it's a whole like a whole thing, right? Like this is one of those movies that you can write papers on, right? Like just paragraphs and b research on. Like you can really kind of just dive in with this movie and explain so much and talk about so much within it. And so like I'm trying, <laughs> sorry if I am kind of ranting, but it, it is just like a topic of interest of mine, I guess, because anything just sort of, you know, LGBTQ plus, I, I, because I am within that category, I guess, it's always a thing that I'm kind of thinking about, I guess, because there's so many obvious things and also underlying things within certain pieces of media like this that you can talk about in that way. So like maybe because I'm gay and I've been with a woman for four years and I'm very androgynous, more so like masculine with the way that I appear, especially within like the last year or so. Uh, and like, I'm not really a very feminine woman. Movies like this, you know, I, there is another layer of interest now for me. Like I now have another like layer of interest of this movie, particularly in which I can like talk about and, or explain even more so, you know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Because of the things that it talks about and shows and whatnot. So yeah, definitely ranting here. I know this is gonna be a long talk, so I apologize if I'm like kind of all over the place a little bit. But again, I think there's just a lot that can be talked about with this. And there's things that I haven't even mentioned, I guess. So it's a very interesting movie in that way, but it's also, again, just very comedic, very hilarious. Very fun, and I had a really, really good time with it. Julie Andrews did amazing. Toddy was absolutely hilarious. I loved him. I definitely liked King by the end. <laughs> and I love Mr. Bernstein. I mean, I just can't get over that moment of what he was saying before. Like, that really, that really touched me a lot. Overall, I absolutely love this film. There's so much that can be talked about with it. It was very entertaining. 
I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did enjoy the reaction, please feel free to like the video, and if you aren't already, please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you want to watch the full unedited version of this video or to anything else on my channel, you can absolutely do so over on my Patreon. It is $5 a month for that. To those of you who are already on Patreon, I really do appreciate you over there. Thank you so much for being there. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope you're enjoying all the full unedited reaction videos and the access to the polls. If you want to find me outside of YouTube, you can absolutely do so. You can find me pretty much anywhere at OGB Reacts. I'm mainly on Twitter, but I'm also on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitch as well. And once again, thank you so much to Kathy Ice for requesting for me to watch this movie. I hope you specifically enjoyed this reaction. This was a fantastic time, and once again, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. And I hope to see you all in the next reaction video, whatever that may be. Okie dokie. Toodaloo. Adios, and goodbye. Bye.